All right. What is going on, guys? We should probably turn this camera on so you can see me up here. All right, now you can see me up here too. We are back with another video today. I'm gonna put my trolling motor down because I'm just so optimistic about catching fish here that I'm just gonna throw it down. So I am ready to go. Well, hopefully we are back with another video today. Um, kind of running out of stuff to film. I actually uh, moved this week, so um, I had to, uh, um, couldn't do a lot of videos this week, but I'm kind of running out. I can't get out of town for a little while to do some different stuff. It's 70 degrees out. Ice fishing is nowhere in um, you know, the future as far as the next couple weeks is concerned. Last year I was on the ice uh, like the second week of November. I remember I was in a boat on November 8th and I remember November 9th I was ice fishing, which is crazy. Not gonna be the case this year. Um, but yeah, so I guess the thing to do for now is just kind of keep plugging away um, on some of the bites we've been fishing. And as long as it's 70 degrees out, I mean, fishing has not been that bad. So as long as it's gonna be this warm out, we might as well just keep banging some walleyes and smallmouth. This video has absolutely no direction if you can't tell yet. It is just gonna be hopefully a nice montage of maybe some nice walleyes, maybe some nice pike, Maybe some big smallmouth, I don't really know. But uh, yeah, right there, we're already seeing just a whole bunch of fish. So I'm gonna spot lock. Oh yeah, that looks extremely convincing. I am in 13 feet of water. I am casting to a weed pot or a sand pocket that also has some rocks that kind of run offshore here. And uh, wow, it looks good. I might have, oh, look at this. <laughs> first cast <laughs> I don't know what this is it's not big at all I wonder if we got like a nice perch on oh look at that we didn't even know we were gonna catch a perch today but we did just gonna rack up the species today that is a pretty small perch but this is normally way smaller than the minnow I would use it just kind of happened to be the one in which I grabbed out of the net first but I mean hey we caught a fish right away right yeah I was yeah, it's been a lot of those nice, like, 23, 24s. Yeah. Yeah, that whole video we filmed right there. But. Oh, there's a bite. Hooked up, fish on. My buddy Hayes came over to say hi to me. Wave to the camera, Hayes. And uh, I think I got probably a nice bass on. Oh yeah, nice smallie. Not a real big one, but they are loaded up on a lot of these big flats that are both weeds, rocks, wind coming into them. That is kind of the deal. And we're probably gonna catch a whole bunch of different kinds of fish today. Some smallies, some walleyes. That is not a big smallie there, but we'll let them go because there's just a mountain of them back behind me. Yeah, I told you about that. Oh, here's another one. Hooked up, fish on. Oh, this is a decent fish. Gotta be a big bass. Oh yeah, good bass. Take a cast back there. Straight back, there's like one patch of rock back there. Nice bass here. I got a little bit of rock here, and I don't know if it's gonna be all smallies or some walleyes, but November hook sets on a 70 degree day are a good thing. There's a pretty decent one. We'll take them like that. It's probably about 19 inches long. A little eighth ounce jig and a sucker on there. A lot of times this time of year, it just turns into a live bait type of thing. Well, that's all right. I will, I'm not gonna complain about fishing live bait and catching more fish. See you later. Yeah, but... <laughs> Dude, I got a fish swimming right at me. <laughs> Hooked up, fish on. That one was just running at me right at the boat. Another nice bass here. Too much fun, definitely a good pot of bass, but for fishing for about five minutes, I'll take it. And one thing to note, 
buddies right next to me are fishing artificials and when the water gets this cold there's just very few things that can beat live bait there's another nice one right there nothing crazy big come here buddy oh he's already off perfect there we go look at that another chunk or small mouth let him go Hooked up. Fish on. Just popped. That little jig. Oh, and look at this. We got the other kind now, Surly. Move spots. Same type of spot. And uh, now we're catching walleyes, I guess. How can you beat it? I mean, look at this day. It's just crazy. Another chubby walleye right here. Well, your cookie cutter 16 17 incher but hey that was my first cast on new spots so let's let them go and hope to repeat it's basically just a weed edge um, and kind of on a big point and it just turns to sand very abruptly and boom the fish are sitting right where it turns to sand hooked up got a spot lock back down <laughs> hey, that's Feels like a good one. Oh yeah, he's already up top. Look at that. Beautiful. Net him. Right next to me. I just turned sideways and now I can see those fish. I just caught that first one back there. And I was like, man, for some reason I'm just not seeing the fish. I swung sideways to make sure I could see them. As I was swinging sideways, caught a fish and now I can see that there's a whole bunch there still. So, awesome. <laughs> Too cool. Doing the cold water curl. Super healthy, about 18 incher though. Let's let him go. See you later, buddy. All right, spot number three. Let's see what we got going here. I'm fishing all similar types of spots, big flats. There's already a bunch of fish right there. Okay. It's out kind of a little bit deeper than I was thinking they would be. See what else we see here. Bunch of fish right there. Not really a lot of them yet. The more you kind of do this, the more you will get, I guess, better at kind of telling when fish are holding on something and when they're just kind of like scattered over an area. And definitely when you're pitching a jig, you obviously kind of want fish to be somewhat concentrated around some kind of structural element, I guess. Alright, this is looking pretty convincing right here. With the cast quick spot lock. Got some fish kind of right back here and then some fish over here. nice walleye could be a big bass oh real nice walleye here <laughs> and that's how easy it is that is what I'm talking about too cool man is that a nice fish definitely the nicest walleye of the day oh yeah <laughs> just a tub first cast on this spot probably about a 24 incher smoked that little Kalen's Google Eye jig the wind caused me to go back to a quarter just so I could fish a little bit quicker and it just it seems like fish are biting. Like when I'm around fish today, they're, they're biting. There we go. Look at that. That's what we're after. That's what it's about. Smallmouth, walleyes. Can't beat it. Let's let that guy go. Too cool. Look at that. Just a handful. Just a porker. There he goes. Fish 
What do we got, Surly? Oh, it's a wily smallmouth, Surly. He's fighting. <laughs> Too much fun. And I will say this, it makes it a lot more fun due to the fact that it's like 60 degrees out today. Walleye, smallmouth. Too good of a time. There we go. Surly's not very impressed. He's ready to go home. He's not really an all day grinder type of dog. But uh, unfortunately for him, we're gonna probably gonna be out here for a little while longer, but just catching fish. Just good old fashioned hook sets and uh, walleyes and smallmouth. Can't beat it. Let's let him go. Fish after fish after fish. Nice walleye here. How are you gonna beat it? Just quality, quality fish. And nobody here except Surly to enjoy it with me today. There we go. So all I'm really doing is just kind of shuffling around this little area until I kind of see what I want. I might kind of start out, you know, 20, 30 yards that way catch a few fish kind of lose them on side imaging shoot out to the edge see a few pitch at them cut way up inside see some fish and a lot of times just kind of doing smaller moves on the bigger flat um, is a lot better than just kind of obviously camping down on one spot or just trying to cover the whole thing you know I'll always be trying to find those little sweet micro structures you know if you got a big flat that's all heavy weeds you know find a spot that's bald or find a spot that's got rock in it or find a spot that breaks out super fast a lot of those little things are a lot of times what dictates where fish are going to be on a really big spot Too much fun. Fish after fish. Another nice walleye here. Getting it done. Gorgeous day. Catching fish. 12 feet of water right here. Jig bites. Not really a whole lot else to say here. But uh, another nice walleye there. Total mixed bag. Smallmouth. Walleyes. Kind of every other spot to spot. You never know this time of year. You can be catching a little bit of both, kind of no matter where you go. And there's just a super healthy, pudgy northern Wisconsin walleye right there. Let's let them go. See you later. Well, that is going to do it for today's video. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed watching this one. I fished from a probably 10 o'clock until it is now 2 o'clock. Caught a whole bunch of smallmouth, a whole bunch of walleye. Super fun day. Hands are not cold and uh, just a ton of good hook sets and multi-species action. So just kind of a fun fish catching video, not really a plot to this one. Most of the time we try to film videos with some kind of a plot, um, like go out and show side imaging or go out and show spots. Um, we're kind of running out of content this fall to film like that. So just a good ton of hook sets, ton of fish catching. If you guys are out there fall fishing, hopefully you guys are finding success too and uh, enjoying some of the warmer temps. So appreciate you guys watching. If you're not yet, please subscribe. Stay tuned for more content. We'll see you guys next time.